All right, heading from work to home, out of the parking lot. I'm a little afraid what it's going to do. Getting out of here. Oh, that's tight. Okay. Oh, good for it. It actually stopped for that girl. Nicely done. I have no idea. Oh, gosh. All right. Yeah, definitely had to disengage. So it stopped for the girl, but uh, the woman, the young lady, but it did not handle the... Um, I have no idea where it thinks it wants to go here. I think it wants to turn... Oh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore that because I want to drive it this direction. Okay. That had nothing to do with it. That had to do with me wanting to drive it a different direction. And let's hopefully it will... Uh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to make sure it reset itself so it would go this way instead of the other way. And... Bus pretty well. So anyway, that was an incredibly narrow exit out of the um, out of that parking lot. I actually curbed the back tire on this once just a little bit on that exact spot. So it's difficult to get out as a human being, and I was curious what it would do as a as a car. But I think I think it would have been okay, except that it kind of twisted the wheel around when the uh, when it saw that the young lady was there and didn't want to hit her. So this would be. That was a pretty fast stop right there. <laughs> Not sure about that. I guess it was okay. It wasn't too bad, but but anyway, it wasn't uh, it wasn't the best thing in the world. It should have probably started stopping a couple of seconds earlier, so it wouldn't have to have been so hard. I have a feeling I'm going to definitely wear the brakes out of this a uh, little bit driving the Beta because I never ever use the brakes when I'm driving. Just pretty much always reach in. But it feels to me like it's actually using the brakes to some extent while we're driving with this thing. So, oh lovely, what is this thing doing? What are you doing? Oh my goodness, what the hell was that? <laughs> I think it was actually attempting to go around this traffic. That was definitely not a good idea. Um, and it may have actually, that's interesting. That was a really interesting moment right there because I think what it was doing was it was assuming all of this traffic was somehow parked or something and that ah, yeah okay it's <laughs> it definitely thinks that it can go over into the other lane and get around all of this traffic that is absolutely not the case so we'll go ahead and hit that again but let's see i'm a little bit afraid a little bit afraid to start it here <laughs> let's see what it's gonna do oh gosh so yeah we're stuck behind an oversized load and we're going very slowly and I think that this assumes that all of these cars are actually parked or somehow not driving and it's attempting to get around them all. But we will see what happens. But I absolutely cannot do that here. This is not a situation. For one thing, there's a long line of traffic, so it wouldn't be able to get around anybody. If it was just one car, then maybe. But it's a big line of traffic and we definitely can't do that. And in addition, of course, there is a lot of traffic coming the other direction. So it would be a bad idea. All right, let's see how it handles this intersection. Doing okay so far. That guy just went in front of it. He's braking. Cool. Okay. All right. That oversized load is going to be interesting. I have a feeling it's going to be getting on the highway with me. So it's going to be it's going to be quite the. Uh... Oh, that was interesting. It just adjusted itself. It was driving a little too close to the center line, and as that truck was right there, it actually adjusted itself very slightly around it. Well, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> it's only registering this as a regular sized truck, but this is quite clearly a two laner. Um, well, let's just see what happens. I was going to go around it and go a different route home, but I'm actually rather curious to see what it decides to do. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to try to get into the left hand lane or if it's going to stay in the right hand of these two lanes. Um, okay, so it's getting in the left-hand lane. All right, person behind is being cool. And let's see. All right, we should have the green light still. We've got five seconds left. I think it's waiting to see the light, and now it saw the light. Yep. All right, and it's still going through. Good for it. That was a, you know, that was a good drive. Okay, it did stop at the train tracks a little bit. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... That was interesting. It just got right over. Okie dokie. So normally I would go, I would have gone straight there and there's another entrance onto the highway a little ways down. 
which would have been faster, but hey, I'm experimenting, so I was curious to see what would happen with this oversized load, and thus far, it's doing okay, although it doesn't have a good graphical representation of what this thing is. It's just, it's basically showing a truck that is driving across two lanes of traffic. I also noticed that it is um, slowing down when it can't see the actual light because the truck is in front of it. So yeah, as I expected, this truck is getting on the highway, I think. Yeah, okay. And I'm not sure what the car is going to do about that. It's actually granting right of way. That was good because I could have seen the car trying to sneak up and like just drive around this wide load. <clears throat> Interesting. All right. And okay, no reason to stop here, buddy. All right. Nobody behind me, so I'm just letting it letting it go a little bit. Okay. And now it needs to get over and it needs to not hit the oversized load. <clears throat> Uh, truck that's following, the pickup truck that's following, and it needs to just get over. Yeah, okay, that was pretty poor. That would not be what I would call a good merge into that lane. All right, and now it'll be on the old stack when it tries to pass this thing, but it should pass it on the, on the road. So really rather interesting what's going on here. Got a tanker truck we're coming up on. Lovely. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Ah, all right. Okie dokie. So we're on the road. I don't know why it hasn't decided. We're only going 41 miles an hour. We should definitely be getting around this guy, but there's now people coming up behind us. Let's see if it decides after this guy to make the turn. I'm just going to force it to do that because I don't feel like waiting. Huh. Interesting. I was not happy about that. Oh, and here we go. Georgia driver. Nope. Oh, he didn't do it. I thought for sure he was going to get around me. <laughs> Let's see how it handles this. All right. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to skip ahead or maybe I'll do a 20X or something. I'm going to stay in this lane. It always tries to get back over right when there's an emerging lane, so I don't think that's a good thing. Anyway, I'll do like a 20x just to, whatever, just to zip through until when I get off the highway since it's six miles. See you in a bit.